all kinds of art, not one sort of art. And I've done all sorts of art. I've made all kinds of paintings in my life and drawings. And I get bored very easily. And I like challenging myself. And so each one of these paintings um, incorporates multiple techniques from various periods in art history. And each one also is made in a different way. So while each one has a set of processes, they're all different processes. And um, I like making things exciting in the studio for myself. So I work on all of them at once. And what I don't want to be doing is creating a Monet exhibition of the haystacks with different lighting situations, but basically with all the paint looking the same and the image basically not very varied. I'm interested in the I'm really interested in the world. Variety of topography and weather imply mood and changing relationships to nature and basically changing our um, understanding of our own power or weakness in the presence of something bigger than we are. Variety is actually, for me, the essence of what I need to be engaging in. Formalism is really important to me. I believe in making competent, for myself, competent paintings that demonstrate technical, hopefully, virtuosity, um, which include not just technique, but um, compositional um, strengths as well, something a lot of artists don't really think about too much today is the power of composition to elicit um, and engage your audience to create a moment that allows them to enter and um, have an experience. And so um, it's important that when you look at the work, even though it's, it's clear maybe one person made it, maybe not, from a distance they all look sort of photographic but um, an epic, but when you look at them, it's important that you don't think too much about me and as the viewer you have a relationship with the piece that's your own relationship, your own ideas and experiences that you can, you know, use by digging into your memories or having something in the painting trigger a memory for you. So it's very important as an artist that you can provide what you want to provide for your audience even while you keep yourself excited in the studio and play, being playful. And none of these have an end point in mind, in my mind when I start. I don't know what they'll look like in the end. So formalist structures and devices are things that help me control what I hope will ultimately be a grand painting that has some plausibility and some effectiveness. So all that stuff is very important to me.